Welcome back everyone. Have you always wanted to split the red green and blue color channels in the fusion page? Well, now you can with this seemingly unnecessarily complicated process. Drag your clip onto the timeline that you want to adjust. Go to the fusion page. With the media in node selected press shift space and find the channel boolean node. This node is also available in the standard toolbar here. With the channel boolean node selected press F2 and rename to red. Drag this to one of your viewers. In the inspector change the to green and to blue values to black. You should now see that the video has gone red. Add two more channel boolean nodes and change their names to green and blue. Connect your media in node to these as shown. For the green node change to red to black and to blue to black. For the blue node change to red to black and to green to black. You have now successfully split the color channels. Add two more boolean nodes and connect the output of the red, green and blue boolean nodes into the two new boolean nodes. Then join them together and connect them to the media out node. Then take a breath. On the two new boolean nodes change the operation to add. Congratulations you have split the colors and have now recombined them to make absolutely no difference to the output of the video. But, what we can do is the following. Select one of the red, green or blue channel boolean nodes that you want to affect. Press shift space and add a transform node, here I'm adding it to the red channel. With the transform node selected go to the center position and right click then click modify with perturb and then change the edges to mirror. Now go to the modifiers tab bring the X and Y scale values down to 0.05 or adjust to your liking. Increase the speed to around 8.0 and adjust the wobble to your liking. On playback you will see the red channel jumping about for a trippy effect. You can also use this to create color bleed common on VHS tapes etc. To do this, on the transform node, delete the perturb modifier. Reset the center position and then using the center X value move the red channel slightly to the right or left as shown. You can add another transform node to another channel and shift in the opposite direction. Now play back and enjoy. Please subscribe.